you do realize that when you run really fast the world you're passing by turns blurry well, not really. It doesn't in real. I mean, somehow your eyes are that good that everything doesn't blur. But if you had a camera and you're whisking by trying to take a picture, you ever try to take a picture out of a car window? Blur. That's right. But you see this effect done in movies and and uh, magazines where everything else looks blurred, like it's whisked by, except for a single object or two. And there's a way to do that in Photoshop elements, believe it or not. So let's go into View and Organize Photos and pull up an object that you want or an image that you want that has one object that you want to stay in focus and the rest you want blurred. All right? And this is going to be a motion blur, like we said, to make it look like every, the world is whisking by, but the one object's in focus. So it really does tell you your eye is amazing that it doesn't blur things as you're running by them quickly. All right, so I thought a good one to use would be this blown-up picture of the car in the samples. So I want to select just those cars, and I want to make it look like everything else is blurring by. So let's pull it into the editor, standard editor. Ah, yes. If you've never listened to Eva Cassidy, you've got to check her out. She's got some good music. All right. All right. So now, how would you select just these cars? We have to make a selection in just the cars. Um, what do you think? Magic wand? Uh, there's too many colors there. You know, you're going to select the trees if you do that. Well... Your best bet is probably going to be your magnetic lasso, which I've selected here. So let's try starting here. I'm going to go around. See, I'm creating my own anchor points and not just trusting that it's going to pick. Man, the coffee has made me jittery. This is tricky, huh? Getting the magnetic lasso to go just where you want it. But the nice thing is we can create our own anchor points. If it wasn't for that, this would really frustrate me, this tool. But the fact that you can create your own anchor points makes me very happy. So if I go over to here... All right. I think that's good enough. I could have selected this last little bit here, but you'll you'll see. I think it'll look good. So I'm going to go to select and inverse. That means the outside is selected and not the cars. And I am now going to select a filter. Go up to filter. Not a coffee filter. I don't want you to get it mixed up and go grab the coffee filter. Yeah, that's right. This filter. Filter. Blur. But not just the main blur. We're going to actually pick, yep, motion blur. All right. So how much of a blur do we want? You notice it's already previewing it here for you. So let's see. Do we want a lot of blur? I mean, we could make it really blurred looking. And which way do we want it blurred? See? We could make it look like, see, that's making the blur look like it's this way. We don't want that. We want it to make it look like it's, like the world is whisking by. 
So I'm going to pick a plane that's like that. Now let's see how it would look really blurred. Whoa, look at that. That is blurred. So at least that shows you the extreme of what you can achieve with the motion blur. So keep adjusting until it looks it looks correct to you. I would say 35 maybe, let's see. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. You can always undo it, right? And now, I'm going to deselect to see what it looks like. I like that, see? Now it looks like these cars are the only thing in focus and everything else is blurred by. Almost could even have you believe in that they're moving, but yeah, you could. Like it's in a race, like these guys are all racing. Yeah, I like that. So there's motion blur for you. A lot of times you'll see like a couple in a park and they're kissing and the whole world is just blurring by. See, kind of like that, but... See, I had no picture of people in the park kissing and, you know, and, yes, that, that, so I had to do the cars. So. so, anyway, there you go. I hope you find a wonderful photo to use motion blur on.